In this video, I'm going to talk about the use of the keyword static with static methods and static variables. Uh, so I have a simple example here of an Einstein class I made, and uh, the Einstein class has a couple uh, private instance variables, finals, uh, the speed of light, C, uh, and some some of the famous some of his famous quotes here. Uh, also, I have two methods. One is going to calculate the energy of an object using his famous E equals M C squared equation, and one is going to uh, randomly pick one of uh, his quotes from this array of uh, of his sayings here. Um, and the driver, I'm simply going to create an, an Einstein object. I'm going to create a new Ein instance of Einstein called Albert. Call the calc energy method and with 1.5 uh, as my argument for the mass, and then his words of wisdom. So let me compile this and to run it. And uh, so let's see what we get. So I calculate uh, the amount of energy in this object using e equals mc squared, and then I printed out uh, one of his quotes randomly from the array. So, so far nothing different, everything's uh, like we've usually written programs, but sometimes you want to have a class and you simply want to use its methods. In other words, here I created an Albert, but I wouldn't create a second Albert because there's only one Einstein, one Albert Einstein, I just want to have a single Einstein. So what I can do is I can say, let me just call the class's methods directly, like this. Bypass creating a new Albert. Just say Einstein.calcenergy, Einstein.wordsofwisdom. And so if I compile this, I get an error, and it says something about a non-static method. This one cannot be referenced from a static context. This is the static context. I'm using the class name, Einstein, as opposed to Albert. Okay. So how do we fix this problem? I go into the Einstein class and I make them static methods. I make them uh, static here, static, make everything static, so that I'm able to call them using the Einstein notation, not the Albert one, so creating an instance of. So I'm going to put static across everything, compile it, and then go back here, compile this. Then I can go ahead and run it, and it works. Okay. So what I'm basically doing, in a nutshell, besides putting static in, is I'm bypassing the step of making an instance of an object. I'm just going to call the the methods themselves. So if you have a class that has lots of uh, uh, commonly used methods that you can use, that you just want to use directly without creating an instance of it, you can create uh, a class with static methods and static variables. In other words, I can also do this. Let me copy this and also print out the speed of light C. I can access that as well, actually, if I make it public, and since they're final they can't be changed, but public. So now I can access these constants as well, like that, and there's a speed of light. Um, and in fact, we've done this before. We've actually used a math class. We'd say um, system.out.println, and we've used math.random. And that's exactly the same thing. We've just used the random method from the math class directly. Uh, in other words, we've never done this. We've never said math. Let's make a math professor equals new math. And then we've never done that. We've always used the math class directly. So that the math class actually is a, is a collection of static methods that you just use along with constants like pi and the letter e uh, in that class as well. So um, if you look in the Einstein class, that's what the keyword static does. But it doesn't really change what's in the method. We never touch these. We just uh, talked about uh, how they can be called from the driver. So that keyword static is is what allows us to do that. So in a nutshell, that's that's the purpose of purpose of static with static methods and static uh, instance variables in a class.